So, hey guys, today is January 2nd of 2022, starting off the new year. And right now I want to start documenting my process of starting my new boat company. Um, I don't know the name yet. That's going to be part of the process. I still need to brainstorm. And there's a lot of steps I still need to take, but I wanted to get a head start on it now. I still have about four or five months left of school. But after that, um, I'm going to jump right into the company or into the business. But I want to get a good foundation now. So when the nice weather comes and I go back home, I can like just hop right into it. So anyway, step one, obviously, I need to have an LLC. I need to brainstorm ideas for the company name and then you start a website and then I need to find a way to advertise this company. Um, oh, yeah, I haven't even talked about what I really want to do. I'm thinking about starting a boat rental business or a charter uh, business, which is where you like take people out on your boat. Um, obviously, I've done boat uh, flipping in the past, but now I kind of want to do something different. I'm still probably going to be uh, boat flipping, but I also wanted to have some kind of uh, a different outlet for different revenue coming in, which I think boat rentals would be a good idea, um, as long as boat chartering. I think that would be fun as well. Um, there's a couple of things that come with that where I live. I don't need to have any kind of special license. Um, uh, also, when you buy boats where I live, you don't need a title for the boat, which is actually really nice. Um, a lot of times titles are lost or just another hassle, but... Where I live, you don't need boat titles. Um, you just need a title for the trailer. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, that's kind of where I'm going, uh, the avenue I want to take for my business. But we'll see what uh, happens. Right now, I'm thinking about just starting off with running out boats and then flipping um, boats on the side. And then maybe if I can somehow do some chartering as well, we'll see how that goes. But this is just documenting that first step. One obstacle that I'm facing right now is just income right now. I have no income just because of school and uh, the sport that I play here. So I have about $2,000 saved up from Christmas and then I get a little bit of money from the school. But besides that, that's all I have right now um, cash wise besides like, you know, other investments that I don't want to touch for the business. So I have like $2,000 cash. Um, I also have a car back at home that I need to sell which uh, will help me. I think this is probably going to be worth four or $5,000 after I sell the car, which $6,000 will be good for my initial investment into the company. That will be able to get me hopefully a car that I can tow because right now I don't have any kind of car that I can tow and hopefully a boat that I can either um, fix up and sell and uh, and then maybe upgrade to like a rental boat, which rental boats have to be a little bit nicer than the boats that I've been flipping in the past because the boats that I've been flipping in the past have been like fixed upper boats. Whereas a rental boat has to be kind of um, in decent shape where someone would be willing to take it out on the lake. And usually, you know, the nicer the boat, the more you can charge for the rental boat. But anyways, that's kind of where I'm at financially right now. I can dip into some of my um, other uh, savings if I want to, but I'm trying to just start fresh right now and not have to do that. So if I can get my car back home sold for four or $5,000 on top of the two grand that I have saved up right now, Hopefully I can have around $7,000 and I can buy a cheap truck. I've been thinking about getting a van as well, but um, cause the van is nice because I can work on engines inside of the van, but a truck will also work as well. So I'm kind of um, deciding between those two. I guess whatever um, I can find a better deal, that's what I'll do. And then obviously I need to locate a boat. Um, so right now I have my boat back um, in my garage at home. Um, it's not currently running. It needs a couple of things to be running, but I'm thinking about selling that boat. Just uh, it has some problems that I don't want to deal with. Um, if I can sell that boat for four or five thousand dollars, I can get my initial money that I put into it uh, back, and then I can obviously reinvest that money back into a different boat. I have a couple of boats that I have been keeping my eye on. Uh, obviously, right now it's January and still four or five months from boating season. Um, plus, I'm not going to be back home anyways, so I need to. Um, Kind of just looking uh, for good deals. And then when the time comes, obviously go get the boat. But um, yeah, so boat fl boats that I flip are usually between three or $4,000. Uh, usually I, I try to get them for about 1500 to like 2500 and then fill up them for you know, four, four or 5000 um, But usually when you see them listed, they're usually listed between like that two or $3,000 mark. Um, and then rental boats obviously have to be nicer, like I said earlier, and those boats are probably going to be five grand up. 
Um, right now, I have a boat that I found out that I'll show you guys. Um, that's about five grand right now. It's 1987 um, Supra. And it's like a, a, an older wakeboarding boat, but I think they'd be a nice charter boat or a nice rental boat. So I'm going to look at that. And there's a couple other boats on the side that I've been looking at as well. So just looking at the Super, obviously it has a little bit of cosmetic work that needs to be done, but apparently it runs well. Um, it's listed for five grand, but that was li this listing has been up for a while now. So hopefully I can get it down to around three grand. Three grand would be kind of the sweet spot for me. It needs some reupholstering and just like cleaned up. But after that, the boat is probably worth six or seven thousand dollars if I wanted to try to sell it. Um, I'll probably have it listed for around eight to nine. And if I get any hits on that price, I'll just give it away for that price or I'll not give it away, but sell it for that price. Um, but if it doesn't get any hits around eight or nine, then I'll probably try to rent it out or charter the boat. Um, which I think is a good idea is if I have these boats and I want to rent them out, I'll have them rented. But if someone if someone is willing to pay um, the asking price for the boat, then I can go and sell it to them and then just start again. Unless, you know, the boat is renting out and is doing very well, um, which I don't expect to have a lot of customers my first year. But hopefully if I can kind of uh, introduce myself to a couple people and uh, kind of get the ball rolling, that will help me out. Anyways, looking at the Supra, yeah, like I said, has some cosmetic work that needs to be done. But overall, the boat looks like it's in good shape. Obviously, I don't know until I <clears throat> check it out. But overall, this is kind of the uh, ideal boat for me for starting out. Uh, what a rental boat slash charter boat would be for me. The last point I wanted to hit on was this YouTube channel and Instagram that I started up. Obviously, the main goal wasn't to you know, make any money off of it or even to get much views. It was more for me just to document my progress and to look back and see, you know, how far I came from the beginning of my boat flipping. And I think it would be cool just to document the process of starting a boat rental business because there's not uh, really any on, um, at least on YouTube that I could find after, you know, my short, my short research. But, um, yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, that's great. Um, I wanted to get the name out there a little bit more. I'm going to try to advertise my channel and my Instagram page a little bit more. But besides that, I'm not going to be focusing crazy uh, amount on the page. Obviously, I'm going to keep you guys updated as time goes on. I still need to build my website, which I'm probably going to make a video about and even maybe brainstorming um, a company name. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I also want to make a video about you know what I look for when buying a boat in particular like a rental boat or a boat to flip but uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoy i'll keep you guys updated as the process goes on like i said it's january 2nd of the new year and i'm excited to start off my business